Hi, this is George Alger. Welcome to today's segment of our Ventura TV. Today we're going to be speaking about Southern California real estate. And our guest expert is Carmen Mormino, who was a veteran realtor. Welcome, Carmen. And what can you tell us about what's happening with the real estate market? Uh, it's unpredictable right now. Um, you know, there's a lot of misconceptions and myths going on. But what I can tell you is this. The biggest issue is like there is no inventory right now at all. Uh, last last January, I said to everybody, hey, just be cool. There's going to be more inventory. Things are going to level off. They're not going to crash. Uh, and think everything went up anywhere from 13 to 15 to 18%, right? This year, I thought, well, prices are so high. There's got to be more inventory. But I think I, I do have a theory is that I think because the COVID numbers were through the roof at the beginning of the year, a lot of people who are on the fence about listing their homes, um, they're holding off. They just want things to calm down with that. So I think as that, and this is just my theory, because as we found in the past two years, we can't predict anything. But um, I think as the COVID numbers come down, you're going to start to see more listings, which is going to give buyers more opportunity and more, you know, more options. But I also have buyers who are on the fence because they hear about the multiple offers and the over asking. And so they're holding off for now. But look at once, once somebody starts looking for homes, I had a, uh, you know, once they start looking for homes, they can't shake that itch. They just have to keep looking on different websites, right? So once these buyers who are holding off start to see more listings coming up, they're gonna start saying, hey, you know what, let's get back in. So I think as the listings increase, uh, there's gonna be more buyers. And I, I truly believe, and California Association of Realtors just came out and said they're expecting increases anywhere from 10 to 15% this year. Not that they can predict, but they have a good you know, finger on the pulse. But what I'm seeing is, I really do believe that anybody says, oh, I'm waiting for the market to crash or, or this or that, it's, it's I wouldn't I wouldn't wait put it that way because I think it's just going to keep building 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 and uh, it's it's pretty it's it's pretty crazy right now. It's yeah, crazy. I mean on that note though, of course in California we have seen that the market has gone up and down um, even in the last twenty years. You know that I've seen it and I don't really follow real estate that closely, um, but is um, is this lack of inventory? just unique to this time or is there you know and there hasn't or was other factors in the past that drove the markets up and then down yeah well i mean i've never put it this way 14 years is not an eternity but i've been doing this for 14 years so it's quite some time i've never seen anything like this to the point where uh, the past couple of days this week i just was like is something wrong with my email like I'm not getting any notifications for new listings or the different categories or the different price points. So it's, it's unprecedented where, where many realtors I know that I talk to, we're just kind of like all throwing our hands up going, you know, let's just take it day by day. And, and I, for one, am hoping that more inventory comes up. So there's not this madness and hysteria. Uh, what I'm seeing across the board is, you know, somebody wants to list their home and they get 13 offers and they get this one offer that's just like the most incredible offer they've ever seen. What's happening is a lot of buyers, and I'm trying to share this so people across, who's, you know, who are watching this are a little educated, but a buyer will make this incredible offer and the seller just pops open champagne and is celebrating so excited. The buyer opens escrow and then they decide if they want the house. Because mm -hmm. buyers are so anxious to get their hands on something uh, that they that they they do it backwards. You know, they it used to be where maybe if somebody opened escrow, they would get buyer's remorse and they would get you know, am I doing the right thing? Now it's like let's just make an offer four hundred thousand dollars over the asking price so we could just lock it in. And I'm seeing that a lot. So if you're a buyer uh, out there. Um, just because you get beat out, suggest to your agent, 
can we be in first backup position? And it's an actual form that is signed. So because last year I would say, this is just off the top of my head, but 30% of the escrows would fall out because the buyers would change their mind or something else would pop up they would like better. So um, it's frustrating for buyers. Believe me, I know. Um, and sellers have to be careful. Another thing too is with listings towards the end of the year last year, you started to see price reductions. So people were saying, see the market's crashing. It was just because they were priced too high and they were still selling for 15% more than they did the year before. But as a seller, you got to kind of be careful where you price your home because buyers are smart. And if they see something way overpriced, they're going to know they're being made a fool out of. So I always suggest price it right where it should be, or maybe one or 2% below where it should be. Then you'll get the multiple offers and you'll get it. Then it'll be, you sit back and just watch the offers roll in. So. Okay. So, it, you know, based on what you're understanding, or at least what I'm understanding about what you're saying, um, it looks like the market is going to continue to go up for some time. And, but because we have seen in the past that it does go down after some amount of time based on, well, of course, in 2008, we had the whole, you know, the whole housing crisis. So that was, that was a, a big factor. Um, I also remember when I went down um, in the early 90s, going back that far. Um, but regardless, um, so I have seen these cycles. And would you say that you you don't think it will go down like in the next bunch of years? Okay. I mean, look, here's the thing. Okay, so going back to 2020 in March when everything got shut down, I sat in front of my computer going, oh my God, I can't go to my office, can't do the things I do. This does not look like a good recipe for real estate. Like I was like, <laughs> this, is, this is frightening. March, April, all of a sudden May, I think what happened in 2020, everybody was sitting in their home for three months going, should we remodel the kitchen that we hate? No, not just buy a house. Let's just sell this. So it went crazy. The difference between 2007, 2008, if you had a pulse, you can get a loan. Mm. Period. Like they would hold a stethoscope, uh, heartbeat, uh, you're breathing. Cool. Here's your loan. It's not the case now. It's not, right. the, it's not. I won't say it's difficult to get a loan, but you have to qualify for a loan. That's the difference, you know? So that's why I don't think, um, the only thing I could think maybe is things are gonna level off, but barring any, any unforeseen catastrophic event, that's not gonna, there's not gonna be this. Now you will see towards the end of this year, price reductions, but that's because everybody, some, a lot of people price their homes too high. So they had to bring them down, but then compare it to last year, they're still selling for more. So um, I, I look at, again, everything's so unpredictable in the world and life, but I don't see, I don't see, uh, I really don't see it. Okay. This, this reduction, this crash, it's amazing what's happening. It's absolutely amazing. Um, Very good. Well, thank you kindly, Carmen. Now we're just about out of time. I'm wondering if you can sneak in a website that viewers can go to for more information. And if you have a summating message for the viewers. Yeah, it's just, it's my name, CarmenMormino.com. Uh, it has everything you need on there. It has my contact information. Always available to answer questions. I'm never too busy. Um, you know, really, to sum it up, I'll just be specific as far as if you're a buyer, be patient. And if, if, if you've made offers on many different places and you're like, why, why do I keep getting you know, rejected or why do we keep missing out? It's because you didn't find the right house yet, period, plain and simple. Easy for me to say, and I know it's frustrating. And if you're a seller, be mindful, price the house right. Uh, don't, if, some, if somebody tells you, I'll sell it for this much and it sounds incredible, that somebody might just be eager to get a listing and they're, they're telling you what you wanna hear. Be smart, price it where it should be, and you'll get results that you, you know, and just be careful, like I said, if an offer seems too good to be true, dot, 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 that's all I'll say, <laughs> it might be. So uh, uh, one more thing for sellers is uh, with, with um, you might get an all cash offer and it's all well and good, and it might be an investor who wants to rent it out, but you might get 
uh, family who comes in and it's a little bit lower of an offer, but they love the house and they want to raise their kids there. Look at that. Don't let your greed exceed your need. Listen to your, your, your realtor if you have a good realtor as to what they saw when these people came in the house and how much they love the house. So just be patient. It is crazy. It's not for you to maneuver through and deal with the madness. It's for your realtor. It's, it's for me to handle the craziness after I get off the phone. <laughs> so it'll all work out. Very good. Thank you so much, Carmen. We're going to wrap things up here. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This is George Alger signing off for this segment of Arventura TV. Until I meet again.